Hello everyone, this is Dr. Carolyn Maria working as an assistant professor in Loyola College of Education, Chennai. The title of the course is Educational Psychology in which we are learning Unit 5 Personality. This video lecture is part 2 video lecture which is going to deal about the assessment of personality, projective, non-projective and productive techniques. Let's see what is personality. The mere word personality came from a Latin root persona which refers to the facial mask owned by the Roman actors on stage. The totality of what a person is is called as the personality. The overall functioning of a person, what a man eats, how he sleeps, what is making the person to be distinguished the other person is what called as a personality. How we portray or how we project ourselves from morning till we go to bed in a day is our personality. It is the individuality or the uniqueness of a person. It is a characteristic way of functioning of an individual with regard to a person's thinking, feeling and behaving. Let's now Conclude, a personality is a person's pattern of thinking, feeling and acting. Let's now learn the methods of assessing personality. There are three methods namely objective method, subjective method and projective method. From the mere word uh, subjective, it is more having a lot of bias and prejudice. Objective method is very good. Which, which will go without any bias and prejudice. Projective technique is the technique which the person will project their personality. Let's see one after the other. Subjective method, the best example is autobiography. In a situation, if a person behaves in a way, if a person is asked to go for a self-introspection and write a report about that and give, that is what is called as the subjective method. There they will go for self-rating, they would give, they will project themselves as a very good human being. And this uh, uh, subjective method also includes different, uh, uh, getting different data from the people using a questionnaire or attitude scale or inventory, interview, aptitude scale and all that. By which the people will project their positive angle, positive side of personality and they will hide all their limitations. That is the reason this uh, method is called as subjective method, which is uh, with bias and prejudice. The next method is objective method, observation, checklist and rating scale, performance and situational analysis are the objective method. There are four types of uh, observation. The mere word observation came from a Latin origin, observe which means to keep open. There are four types of uh, observation, direct observation and indirect observation. In the direct observation, the observer uh, will directly observe the observant. In indirect observation, instead of uh, going for a direct observation, the observer will, the observer will have a substitute to observe the observant. And natural and artificial observation. Natural observation, the observant are unaware of the observation. For an example, in a classroom situation, the teacher is always observing all the students. Without, uh, you know, being mindful of that, the students will behave naturally. Artificial observation is, the students are told that you are going to be monitored by so and so. So, if a teacher is not there in a class, if the class monitor is observing the students, that is artificial over there. And scheduled and unscheduled observation. Scheduled observations are pre-planned. For an example, the DEO, CEOs or higher authorities visiting schools and educational institutions is scheduled observation. Unscheduled observation is spontaneously on the spot. They may just come for a class visit. Participatory and unparticipatory or non-participatory observation. In participatory observation, the observant will be actively taking part. But in non-participatory observation, the observant will be very passive. So these are the objective type of methods through which a person's personality can be observed and reported.
one more example let me give you with regard to the objective method this case study collection of facts about the individual and you can choose a case in your class uh, the one who is always uh, uh, very slow in learning uh, very um, naughty person or attention seeking behavior or a student who is uh, getting always good marks uh, even we can take the gifted children so we can take one student as a case and we can study the case of the student that is the problematic student or even the gifted children what makes the person the student to become a problematic person or a gifted student that we can go for it so in order to collect the all the data first of all the teacher has to uh, develop a sort of rapport to the students then only the student can have a concern as well as even the student can trust the teacher and reveal all the data with regard to their family history attitude behavior and academic history everything the mere purpose of the case study is to study the individual and to study the problem of the individual in depth and it has some demerits because if the teacher is very biased and prejudiced the teacher would be very subjective the teacher can write a negative report about the student and it is not reliable and of course it is time consuming process also that's why people have gone for projective technique so subjective technique as well as objective technique both has its own limitations that's why psychologists have gone for projective technique to study the personality or to assess the personality of a person there are three kinds of test one is perceptive technique rorschach ink blot test another one is a perceptive technique thematic a perceptive technique and productive techniques we will see one after the other for rorschach ink blot test uh, this kind of cards will be shown to the client or the patient uh, ink blot cards are shown one after the other and the people would be asked different questions you could see the different cards over here these cards one after the other will be shown to the people so it is most widely used projective technique the founder of this technique is Herman Rorschach who was a Swiss psychiatrist. A set of 10 ink blot design cards are given to the people in order to identify the people's feeling through interpretation. 10 cards are 5 black and white cards and 5 colored cards are given to the people and 2 questions will be asked to the people. What do you see in the picture? What the picture remind of you? And the scoring will be given with regard to the location, determinants and the content, whatever the client or the patient is talking about. Let me explain to you in detail. For an example, if this card is shown to a person, this projective technique take it into consideration a number of different factors when being analyzed by the psychologist. With regard to the speed of the person, when the person sees this card and relates this card to a dragon or uh, an animal or a bat, how fast the patient is giving the answer. If a patient takes a long time to respond, it indicates that they are hiding some true responses as well as they are suppressing their feelings as well as emotions. And for this one card, if a person is coming out with so many responses, saying that this is a bat or a dragon, so many other responses if a person is giving, that shows the high intelligence of a person. And with regard to the pattern of response, if a patient responds quickly to all the ink blot except one or two, that is actually helping the person to elicit the behavior of a person or responds in a similar way to all the ink blot and that is shows actually the person is having some sort of fear and the person is suffering with a sort of anxiety and fear and it is he or she is suppressing that and can often be more telling that a specific response. For an example, if I am giving this card, if you say something scary or aggressive, you may have anxiety issues and you may be a worrier. 
and the response time if you are taking the time very quickly in order to uh, respond to this situation and with regard to the slow uh, response depends upon your speed in response your personality is identified common interpretation are most of the people would say that this is a wolf face or hollow mask or elephant or hairy spider bat or butterfly or moth or female figure like that whatever you are talking in relation to the ink blot whether quickly or slowly it uh, actually reveals your character so without the others force on your own you are projecting your character let me give few more example if a card is shown this card is shown if you say a positive image that reflects the positive relationship of yourself with your father and if you see this picture and talk about something negative then you have a negative relationship with your father but the common interpretations are people may see this as a boat or a chinese dragon or a standing figure or man or gorilla or bear one more example let me give if i am showing you this card and you come out with a, a positive image you have a positive relationship with your mother if you are talking something negative with related to in this picture you are having a negative relationship or some sort of distrustful relationship with your mother if you see the thunder clouds it may reflect the high levels of anxiety in you if you see this as a lamp or interpret this as a white space and you are you are having some sort of depression in you the common interpretations are two girls or two women or girls are fighting or thunder clouds or lamp so as the person is shown different ink blot cards you are in giving an interpretation with regard to the card by which you are unknowingly revealing your personality so that is perceptive technique then we go on for thematic a perception test here like a road shock ink blot test we had 10 cards here 20 cards will be given pictures like you know unrelated pictures would be shown to the people for an example i am showing this picture now you are asked to spin a story with regard to this picture then relate the story to the second picture then relate the story to the third picture and to the fourth picture like that 19 picture cards will be shown you would start spinning a story and at the end the 20th blank white card also will be shown and you may not be able to stop spinning your story you would continue the story and that by which you will project your personality and in this story you will be concentrating or focusing or favoring on one character and that reveals your character so giving the subject a picture that is ambiguous which has several meanings and ask them what is occurring and 20 picture cards will be given out of 20 19 cards with picture and one blank card depicting vague social situation and three questions will be asked what happened earlier what is happening what is going to happen and the patient or the subject is asked to spin a story with the picture projecting oneself with one character and this thematic a perception test was developed by murray and morgan and for the students animal cards and animal situations would be given which was developed by delac and delac we go on to the productive techniques situation is given to the subject and the subject is asked to analyze the given situation and his or her personality is assessed with their past experience and whatever they are aiming for with all that they will analyze the situation and by somehow they will project their personality and word association test in which the examiner speaks a series of words and the patient listens and repeat any word which comes to the mind first and the personality is assessed based on the relativity of the word and more than this dream analysis also could be done sigmund freud called dream as the royal road and he was the one who has gone for this process called dream analysis where he says that all repressed thoughts which are there settled in our unconscious mind will pop out in the dream and the dreamer is asked to write and narrate about his dream what are the characters and the associations and the components 
more than this sentence completion test picture completion test so story completion test are the other productive techniques in order to reveal the person's personality let's now discuss on the need for psychological assessment psychological assessment is needed to provide vocational guidance and modify teaching by the teacher and select suitable candidates for the profession select bright students and give scholarship solve emotional problems give special education for the students identify the psychiatric patient and refer for treatment identify the maladjustment students and give counseling for them the key takeaway messages from the video lecture are rorschach ink blot test take it into consideration a number of different factors when being analyzed by the psychologist and it contains 10 cards which has five black and white cards and five color cards to assess the personality thematic a perception test contains 20 picture cards out of which 19 picture cards and one blank card depicting the vague social situation to assess the person's personality As a teacher, how will you help your students to improve their personality? What are your plans and strategies to improve the perception of your students? For further information, kindly refer these books. Thank you for listening. Wish you all good luck.